Well, it's, you know, I do believe you have to have a healthy ego and there's always, I have a lot of friends who, who always, and, and I love them, and it's funny because it's interesting, there are always fine lines and everything, and I have friends who would say, yeah, but look at her. She had 50 rejections from publishers, and now her book is the number one book, and now a multi-awarded movie, right? So, and I'm there, so I'm stubborn, right? So why can't I be her? And, and I have, and, and for me, it's like, well, for one thing, I don't know your project enough, and I don't know the level of rejections the author got. But one thing I do believe is that I think for every rejection, depending on who it's coming from, right? Because you could easily say, oh, she just, he or she just didn't get it, right? And that's possible. That's okay. You move on. But then if you trust the critique, if you trust that that opinion and say, wow, it's from Ted Hope, for instance, or it's from somebody who's respected and who really knows the craft, whatever craft that is, then, wow, take it to heart. And then take the advice, whatever it is, and then revise or change your project. And then move on. More often than not, maybe the next time you submit, because you took that critique constructively and really did the changes, and that's why you got accepted, right? Because, yeah, you have all these X number of rejections, but how many times have the author or the filmmaker actually made changes to improve the project? And with all the, those improvements, then that's the time it finally sold. Sometimes people don't know that. We all just say, hey, he got rejected, but now, so I'll be like that. But then, for every mistake, you keep on repeating it. You keep on shoving the same crappy project with no change, the same annoying whatever, the same one. So who in the world would accept that? Even if it's a thousand, I guarantee it's still a rejection because you never improved it. The minute you improve, the minute you step back and be humble enough and look at it and be honest and say, hey, this is really not working here. What's wrong? And let me correct it then you might be onto something.